a seminar to create awareness on the removal of simplified value-added tax and its impact on the export industry was held in Colombo on Friday. The National Chamber of Exporters of Sri Lanka says the decision to end the simplified value-added tax will have detrimental effects on the export industry. Following the seminar, a panel discussion was held in this regard. Uh, no other country has uh, something called uh, suspended VAT. There is always a refunding mechanism. Uh, no other country uh, is uh, like Sri Lanka. We are a very unique country, so I think uh, we do have the need. Uh, we've created a need and that's why the system was in place. Why is this a burning issue? It's not because of the SWAT removal, as you uh, rightly pointed out. It is because of the fear we have on the refund mechanism. Why do we have that fear? We just need to go back and see how our government systems on refunds, uh, reconciliations, um, filing, how it operates. I think there is a lot of fear and there is a lot of good reason to be fearful uh, uh, in this case. So definitely we want to stop the leakages. What is the percentage of leakages? What is the percentage of exporters who would actually are complying? And what is the leakage? Let's say 5% is leakage, 10% is the leakage. However, by doing something without thinking through the entire process of refunds, uh, ensuring that the cash flow of the exporters are not pulled into a system which will get, which will cripple the exports, that's, that's what we are fearful of, which will make the 90% of the exporters uncompetitive because what will happen as an exporter, how I would think is, okay, I need to put in all these input costs. I'm not sure how much of it will come back by when. So I might as well recover as much as possible and my prices are going to be uncompetitive. Senior officers from the Department of Inland Revenue, Treasury, Finance Ministry, Tea Exporters Association and the Apparel Association Forum Sri Lanka participated in the event.